Hello everybody and welcome to CGN for Sunday the 19th of April 2015. Hope everybody is having a uh, good Sunday and a good weekend. Sadly though everyone's back to work tomorrow, or well, most people are anyway. So um, you're not saying anything Pete? No sorry I thought I'd save my voice a bit. Oh okay yeah Pete's got a bit of a sore throat or a... wow I don't know about a sore throat but your, vo your voice is In gone. General. Uh, so you'll probably notice yeah. in every video apart from the Let's Play this week that his voice is um, I'll, 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 uh, a bit bad I'll because he's miraculously me. better for Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, on to the game releases. Now this week, uh, as far as we know, there's one game coming out every day. So we've got Monday, uh, 20th, Slow Down Bull coming out on the PC. On Tuesday the 21st, we've got Shovel Knight. Honestly, I don't know what that's uh, about. I've heard of that. Have you? Yeah. That's Probably. coming out on the PS4, PS3, and PS Vita. Explain, then. It's like a knight that has a shovel and he goes fighting people. Is it? I think, I don't know. All right. I've actually played it. Anyway, Wednesday, or Wednesday, the 22nd of April, we've got a Kalimba, I think that's how you say it, coming out on the PC. That's rated a 7+. plus. I think that looks a more childish game. On um, Thursday, the 23rd of April, we've got Mario Kart DS coming out on the Wii U. Uh, this is um, the original Mario Kart that came out on the DS that's now coming out as Virtual Console on the Wii U. That makes sense. Why are they porting a handheld game onto a console? Mm. I can't understand that. That's probably going to look awful. Why are they calling it that? It's, it's, like... nothing, it's, it's not exactly going to be Mario Kart DS, is it? Because it's, the uh, DS, you've got two screens. It's like releasing... And each screen does a different purpose. It's like releasing Black Ops 2 360 edition on the Xbox One and calling it the 360 edition. Yeah. I don't know why I thought Black Ops 2, but... Yeah, it is. It's just, yeah, it's just like doing that. Or it's like... Um, I don't know... Bringing out some really old, like, Game Boy game or something. Actually, no, okay. Uh, no, they've done that with Game Boy, haven't they? Yes. Yeah. But Mario Kart DS, it's, it just seems a bit odd because, obviously, the DS has got two screens. When you're playing on your Wii U, you've got one. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, no. It's the Wii U. You've got your gamepad. Yeah. yeah oh, my mistake. Yeah, sorry. I forgot yeah, about like... that. I was thinking of the Wii. You could have told me. Why did I, I couldn't remember either. Oh, so. okay. I think a lot of the viewers have probably forgotten unless they've got a Wii U, which I don't. So, apologies for that. That's my mistake. Um, and Friday the 24th of April. Actually, there might be something on Saturday. Uh, Dungeons 2 coming out on PC and Mac. And uh, Yeah, I think there is Saturday. Saturday the 25th, we've got Watch Quest Heroes of Time coming out on the Apple Watch. So, I didn't realise they were going to be bringing games out for that. But, um... Yeah, I like the name Watch Quest Heroes of Time. Uh, I think that's that's full of, full of puns, isn't it? Watch Quest Heroes of Time. Do you actually like the title? Uh, I think it goes well with the platform that's Apple coming out on. Yeah, it's very funny. <laughs> anyway, um, if you'll ignore or pardon all of those puns, um, I'll hand you over to Pete now for some news, which some of you might be interested in. Hello, everyone. It's me. I'm doing the news again. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> next, uh, the first bit of news is the Xbox One price cut in the UK. Microsoft recently reduced the price of their Xbox One console in the UK. The price has dropped from 330 quid to 300. I'm so sorry about my voice, guys. It's really annoying. Uh, to 229 pounds 99 pennies, meaning it is now 50 quid cheaper than the PlayStation 4. And also, the Xbox One comes with Halo: The Master Chief Collection, whereas the PS4 is just a console on its own. <coughs> you're alright, you sure you're okay reading this? You might have to take over. So alright, well, I was I'll just thinking, it. usually it's my voice that plays up. I know. Obviously not this time though. Uh, this price drop is only expected to be limited for a time. However, the price has already decreased, meaning that you can now get, I don't know what, you can now go out and get an Xbox One for under £300. Do you want me to read these? <laughs> no, I'll do it right. Are you sure? Uh, this is now the Xbox One's fourth price drop since its launch in <laughs> November 2013. This is not going well. Are you yeah. sure your voice is alright? It's all of a sudden changed. What do you mean? But you've sort of just got your old voice back. It's because I was laughing. Are you putting it on, this fake sore throat one? Huh? Are you putting this sort of ill voice on? Putting what on? No, all right, just finish it off. You've got about a line to go. I want to read this quickly, believe me. Uh, it is unlikely to fall again. 
I've lost it. It's unlikely to fall again under two hundred under the two hundred ninety nine ninety nine. Oh god. Yeah, so I don't actually know if that's going to be permanent. <coughs> as far as I know, it's only temporary. The PlayStation Bat Sale, hurrah! I love that picture. Uh, Sony recently began a sale known as the Bat Sale, uh, which saw the prices of all three Batman Arkham games reduced by a large amount. Uh, the first one, second one, Asylum and City, now available uh, on the European PlayStation stores for four quid each. Uh, while well, the latest addition to the franchise Origins will set you back twelve pounds fifty pence. However, this is uh, still a bargain. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> If you, if you don't own any of these free games, you can download the Arkham Collection, which includes all free titles, at a fantastically low £14.50. That's very good. Go and get it. Uh, so if you're a PlayStation owner and yet to play the Arkham games, now is the best chance to get them at this great price. And you have until the 29th of April to get your hands on them at these unmissable prices. Yes. Also, just to let you know, um, I have a f I'm have pretty sure it's called the Bat Sale. Everywhere I looked referred to it as that. That's I hope it's not just some like online um, like headline for something. And also, if you're new to this channel and you've never ever watched this before, Peter's usually a bit more enthusiastic and his voice sounds a bit better than it does today. <coughs> He's uh, a bit under the weather, I think. Oh, alright, don't worry. Uh, oh, this is a good bit of news. The most bit. Of, yes. I was most excited about this one more than any other. That the fact that I thought I'd leave the best till last this week. Star Wars Battlefront details have been confirmed by EA and Dice. Uh, they recently revealed the first official trailer for the new Battlefront title, as well as some details about the game itself. Uh, one of the most notable things from the trailer is that you can play as major characters from the trilogy. <coughs> Sorry, from the trilogy. <coughs> including Lord Vader himself after meeting certain in-game requirements, so many kills, blah, blah, blah. Uh, similar to previous Star Wars Battlefront title, or the title, uh, you can now also fly airships, including the X-Wing, TIE Fighter, Falcon, etc. Uh, there are several other things included in the trailer too, um, and more information may become available at E3. Star Wars Battlefront is due to launch on the next gen consoles and the PC on the current 17th. gen consoles. What did I say? Next gen. Current gen consoles. Everybody seems to still have it in their head that they're next gen, but now that they're out there, current gen. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And um, I'm also fairly confident in saying that I'm pretty sure EA will release it on the 17th of November without fail, whether well, the game's finished or not. I don't know. They have a that. reputation for that. Uh, that's it, hurrah. Can Hopefully it will be finished. I mean, they've been working on it a while, haven't they? My most anticipated game ever. They better not delay it too much. It does seem quite similar to the previous Battlefront game, which I absolutely loved. Battlefront 2 is a brilliant game. If you haven't got it, go and get together. it on Steam, because it's pretty good value, and it'll get you all in the mood for Battlefront absolutely. 3, it should realistically be. And but Star Wars film as well. They're renaming it after the very first one, aren't they? Yes. It's Because the first one was called Star Wars Battlefront, and they had Star Wars yeah. Battlefront 2, and then they're having Star Wars Battlefront again. Star Wars Battlefront 1, 2, then 1. Yes. It's like the Xbox One's name. It's not the original. Yeah. Anyway. But they haven't had an Xbox One before this one. Oh, no. So this yeah. is the first Xbox One, whereas this is the second Star Wars Battlefront. Exactly. Well, there you have it. Anyway, I'll do the intro, um, sorry, outro thing because All Pete's right. voice is evidently dying. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hopefully Pete's voice will be back next week. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.